My name is Matthew Mitwer. What's up, dude? Hey, You've been good, man. Are you for the show? Yeah. Going into middle school, there's only like two or three kids that listen to punk and metal, and there was this little table we sat at. We were just surrounded by cholos. There was always a fight every day at lunch. I hated it there. I felt I had no connection with anyone. Every time when people would ask, like, what am I, they'd be like, whoa, that's weird. I never heard of that. They're like with the Japanese and the German and then the parts of the Lithuanian side and then the, the Navajo and the Mexican. From what I know from my grandpa Eddie and his parents, my great grandparents, they were all put in internment camps when he was small. My great grandma, Mary Oyama Mitwer, was a journalist. Miss Mitwer is the author of the article, My Only Crime Is My Face. She has directed her writing ability toward attempting to break down misconceptions and the part of Caucasians concerning Japanese in this country. Her writings after that became famous. I had no idea someone in my family did something extraordinary like that. They didn't like what I listened to. They always picked on me thinking I was the drug addict or I was uh, uh, the mess up in the family, and I wasn't. I'm from Boyle Heights. East LA Boyle Heights. Every so many blocks, there's like a different gang. I'm a gang member. You know, I'm not active, but I'm a gang member. Seeing my mom's nephews going in and out of jail, someone getting shot, someone ODing, going to funerals. If I didn't have metal and punk in my life, I'd probably be some angry person on the street. That music is a huge outlet. I let my kids express themselves however they need to do, you know, just to cope with life and stuff. So I'm not trying to um, hide my past because I want my kids to know I bettered myself. I'm just glad, you know, my kids didn't turn out looking like me. When I write music, I try to pick up on more of my feelings about being put down. It's making me realize my great grandma like went through a lot in the camps. I want to reach out to people and let them know, you know, you're not alone. You know, I, I feel this too. My main goal, my main dream, I just wanted to have an, uh, an established band and maybe one day meet that fan that I made an impact on. I felt all stressed out earlier. Now I feel like empty. Yeah, like, it's, it's all gone. Dude, fucking killer, man. Fucking sick. Hopefully one day I could fucking be like you, dude. You just keep doing it, and you just, well, however it unfolds, it doesn't matter as long as you have a good time because it's a, it's, it's a moment. You know what I'm saying? It's all yeah. about creating a moment. It does get really crazy mentally sometimes. So if you let it overwhelm you, it takes away what you really wanted to do in it in the first place. The ego is the one that's gonna cause you the trouble. Oh, thank you, man. I needed to hear that from a pro, man. Thank I'm you. not really a pro. <laughs> I just, I'm just having a good time. That's all. Oh, we look up to you, man, so thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you very you. much, man. Thanks, dude. It's a pleasure fucking meeting you, dude. Definitely. Huge inspiration, man. Thanks very much. Thank you for coming out and supporting. It all works together. It's all of us.